First, let's just listen to the music for a second or two. I am really, really enjoying the music in this game. Now, I had a little play of this earlier on. Well, I say I had a little play of this earlier on. I started just having a little play to make sure it would work okay. And I found myself about an hour later still playing the game, totally not realising that the time had passed. This is Layers of Fear, a brand new game where you explore a mansion and follow a man's descent into madness. Sounds fun really, doesn't it? Let's give it a go, shall we? New game. see what we can see I know how you must feel lost alone hopeless you probably deserve it but even for you there is still a way a way to bring it all back The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Every portrait of this painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde. The portrait of Dorian Gray. What a cheerful family scene. Well, mostly. So here we are. We are here in this little house here. Looks like we are in an entryway. And there's a terrible storm going on outside by the sounds of it. It looks like this house was loved once, but... Yes. Looks like it's gone a little bit to rack and ruin. What do we have here? Dog's muzzle. Okay, let's have a quick look here. Looks like that's all we can see. That's... Oh, what a nice house. An artist's triumph. Gallery opening wows critics. Some call him the new Caravaggio, others compare him to Van Eyck, and one awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went so far as to invoke the spirit of the great Leonardo. Any way you slice it, the expedition proved an immense success. Somebody's distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiancée. Looking stunning in her black gown, somebody or other revealed to us blah blah. Somebody revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expecting. Well, that sounds so nice, doesn't it? Dear Sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. 
I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not ca kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such decided not to act further than a prophylactic explain. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton, Pesky Pets Pacification Company. Oh dear. So let's just have a look a bit more, look around here. Let's see what we can... What does that say? Pop kill? Pop kill? Can't quite read that, but it's a dog's collar. And not of the religious kind. So we have a kitchen through there. We'll go through looking in there in a minute. Let's have a look. Just have a look around this room first. See what we can see. Bathroom through there. Broken glass under our feet. Let's have a look in here. Let's just open the drawers. We're going to be looking for clues, looking for understanding, and these things are going to help us there, I think. I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that... Let's try it like this. I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with the, her best interest in mind. I guess I've always believed that... In an imperfect world, it's worth to strive for perfection. Uh, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I will work on my temper, though. I promise. We'll talk later. I love you. So, it sounds like things weren't exactly perfect in this house. But... Oh, locked. Yep. Okay, so we can't get in there. Perhaps we'll find a key later on. Anything else in here? There's a doorway there. We'll open that one in a second. A doorway there, and a doorway here. Sir, I didn't touch the workshop, just like we've asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for the room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. Uh, yep, that's locked, and we're going to need the keys to get in there, but now we know where they are. What can we see in here? Plates. Oh dear. I'm presuming they didn't like that person. Okay, alright. Uh, nothing in there. Or there. What's in here? Bourbon whiskey. Superior bourbon whiskey, but uh, bourbon whiskey that no longer pours. Okay. Nothing there. Let's get some of these cupboard doors open. Nothing of interest in there. Okay, alright. We've looked in there. Okay, let's get some of these doors open and see what we can see. Cellar, we'll go down there in a second. That weather's not getting any better, is it? Do we have a light switch? Something there. Whoa! What earth was that? Little Vinian Parters! Got a rat problem? Call us. <laughs> you got a rat problem? Call us and forget about it! <laughs> nice! Is there no light switch in here? Because I'd love to know what we just kicked over. 
Light switch outside? No. Oh, light switch. Rat traps. Lots and lots of rat traps. Including in the coal bucket. And why not? Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's move on. Downstairs bathroom. That's very wasteful. Why don't we look a handsome chap? Slightly insane, but very handsome. Um, okay, anything in there? Oh, bit of light, that's good. One below knee prosthesis. How the hell did they mess up the length? Naughty words. Something in here. Rat poison. A great addition to every meal. Okay. So let's have a look at the kitchen. Let's just be a little bit anal and get all these doors open and see what we can see. Paint, rose door, burnt umber, sienna, brushes, 29. Air freshener, times 50. Apples, 10 kilograms. Booze, 5, 10, 30. Okay. We should perhaps take the rolling pin along with us just in case we encounter anything scary. Oh, that's not a message. Nothing of interest to us there. Figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and shoved his head and... and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know. Gasp. In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. Yes, that was a different handwriting. There is a lot of love going on in here. And that's sweet to see. Oh, nothing happens there. Let's have a quick look in this room here. Oh, another closet. Light switch this time. Oregano, paprika, decent sized bottles there. Oh, he likes his paprika, likes his sugar. Other than that. Doesn't seem to be anything of interest to us here, does there? Right, let's move on. Let's try downstairs, shall we? That squelchy sound. Oh, broken bottles. How, how nice. Okay, so that room is locked. Let's go downstairs before we try upstairs. Let's see what we can see. And what we can see is hideous darkness. Ooh. Rat. Report card. Reading. Um, those are not good grades. Physical education. Excused from class. Okay. I'd hate to be bringing that report card home. Oh. It looks like the prophylactic spraying didn't do much good, did it? Alright. 
Let's see what we got in here. A locked door is what we've got in here. Okay, let's go upstairs. So, so far we've got two locked doors and a locked drawer. Uh, I hope we're going to find some keys somewhere. Right, we can't run, we can't jump. All we can do at this point is walk, it would seem. So... Well, that would have made life easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> Never mind. Okay, up we go. Yeah. You're a handsome chap, aren't you? He lies. More wine. Okay, burned sheets of music. Whoops, sorry. Been working all night, don't wake me up. Well, I hope that doesn't get me a copyright strike. The new face of music, A Night at the Opera, becomes a night to remember. Might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredibly talented multi-instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night, winning over even the most ardent naysayers. She was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy and skill in years, stated famed pianist Daniel Richter. He was not alone in his praise. It seems that even Anthony Giles, one of somebody or other's harshest critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating that there's more to performing music than enthusiasm and a pretty face. When asked if, after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets these words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, yes. Okay, so it looks like there was a, a lot of talent in this house, not just the music. Terrible taste in shirts, mind. Right. Bed snapped in, but it looks it pretty heavily. Galactic's grand opening in flames. The long-awaited opening of the Galactic Department Store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Ske Sheffield, has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. Oh no. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You just know that somebody in this house was involved in that, don't you? More bottles of wine. Oh, oh yeah. What is what? Yay! Okay, that made me jump. Yeah, I'd say somebody has a problem. Walking stick. Sorry, couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. Lovely. Hmm. Looks like there's something tragic has happened in this house. 
Perhaps we'll learn more soon. What on earth's happened here? That looks like blood. Okay, let's do this room first. I was going to do this room last, but... Light switch? Yep, yeah, good. Well, that portrait looks terrifying, doesn't it? I almost dare not put my back on it. The picture of Dorian Gray. Was it true all along? Okay. Hmm. I think we're probably finding good influence for this story here. What's that? Oh, dead flowers, okay. Ladder falling down. Well, that's an interesting, isn't it? Stool this side of the desk, chair behind. That says a lot, doesn't it? It says an awful lot about his character. Hmm. There's a face I wouldn't want to meet in a darkened alley. Or, to be totally honest with you, any alley. Missing drawer there. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I have agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place, for old times' sake. I deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you could draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare that fuel that you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your act together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone, Whispered Tale Publishing House. We'll have that. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. Tonight it's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised! Actually, yeah, that's two handwriting. Two, okay. Him, handwriting, and her. Okay. Yes. I'd say that would wake you up in the middle of the night, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm watching you. Nothing over here. Okay, so we've got a key. Which can probably get us into one of the locked rooms. Possibly that office downstairs, because we were given a big clue about it. We'll do that room last. Okay, chance room. Baby's rattle. Okay, that would that would fuel your nightmares, wouldn't it? Okay, moving on. Wooden soldier. Okay, so it's probably a boy. Puppy. But dolls as well. I'm not in a good state either, so... A boy and a girl? Death. Uh, death for... HF1 Beats, ooh, okay 
I'm sure that will be explained in the fullness of time. The tea table. You know, this is this could be a boy or a girl's room, really. It's not really one or the other in here, is there? I wonder. That's not a happy drawing. Hmm. Bye, doggy. Okay, we can't unlock that room. Okay, so... Let's go downstairs to the office, shall we? Let's see what we find. Yeah. Ooh. Get it right this time. I think somebody has gone through a lot of paintbrushes. These are all rocks. It would seem so. Okay, what have we got in here? Wine. Open up, there we go. More wine. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come and talk to me when you're done, before you go to sleep. Right. No, nothing there. And it would appear nothing there. We missed one there, but there was nothing in there. Okay, and over here, nothing of any interest. We still look like Dr. Jekyll. Okay, let's have a look at this because this is obviously the focus of the room. That was not worth the effort. Lost. You deserve it. Finish it. Well, seems that what we have to do, we need to finish. And what we'll do is we'll finish it next time. So until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Layers of Fear. Thank you. And good night. Well, hello. Damien here. Did you like this? Please leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And don't forget to leave a comment. Mm -hmm.